everybody. This is the Gal Owl, and I have both. The original in stainless steel, and the newest one in polycarbonate. So we're going to take them apart and talk about them. This one actually has some uh, things you can modify on it, and uh, this is the old standard. So I never did review this original one, so uh, we're going to do both of these at the same time. Please join me. Alrighty, let's start with the original gal. This is stainless steel. Um, I'm not sure if it was available in anything else. I don't think it was. It might have been available in like a silver, like unfinished color, but this has some kind of black coating on it. I don't know if that's just an oxide or not. Um, but um, uh, this is about a year and a half old now. And uh, when I bought it new, I was kind of shocked to see what I paid for it. I don't think I would ever pay that much for something that did this little. Um, I've never been too terribly fond of it. Um, but it is kind of signature of, of some of Gal Studio stuff that uh, it's kind of delicate. Uh, once you get used to the idea that it's, it's not... Um, well, this one actually does have some good haptic response in, in this direction. Um, and I do, uh, once you learn how to spin it a little bit there, the weight of this one helps you keep it in your hand and spin it a little easier than the, uh, than the polycarbonate one. But, uh, I don't know. I, I was kind of underwhelmed by it and then I kind of grew to like it and, uh, I just keep it like I keep everything. Um, but the latest thing to come out was the polycarbonate one. And it, uh, it got me interested in this again. And I was kind of happy with that one, so we'll talk about it in a minute. But uh, I did just see somebody else get one of these, and um, they seem a little underwhelmed too, uh, their initial response. It's a weird one. It is kind of a weird one. But you've got an R188 bearing. You could change that out, but I don't think there's much, you're not going to notice too much of a, of a, a haptic. Of, response from bearing changes on this. It's just, in this case, it's more just like find a bearing that that works properly and you're in good shape. So the bearing, the outside race of the bearing actually slides back and forth in this large groove and uh, the magnets aren't on the sides evenly spaced out. So when you push everything up to this side, it will spin more freely then when you push everything up to this side, that's where it wants to sort of uh, lock into place for you. So that's kind of what I would do. I would walk around and just sort of use it like a pivot, a pivot pin slider, push it forward, rotate it once, bring it back. Um, occasionally do that. But uh, other than that, there's not much to say about it. There's a nice... Um, etching on the back there or machining. It's machining, I believe. But uh, and these are just probably uh, black zirconium nitride balls glued in there. Um, so the PC one, this thing came out, like I said, about a year and a half later, just recently. And uh, Gal has released several of their items in PC or polycarbonate. And it's usually available in um, red, uh, another color that looks like Altum, but it's not Altum, so kind of a you know an, a yellowish, and uh, transparent or semi-transparent depending on the finish. This is sort of a polished finish. Well, it came out of the mold that way; they didn't polish it. Um, but it is significantly thicker than the original. It is about the same height about the same width, but I think the thickness is the big, the big difference here. So it's a little easier to hold and to do that with, but, and they're both set up exactly the same. I'll show you in a second. The interior is exactly the same as far as magnet placement goes, but uh, this one, when you spin it around this way, like this one, um, that's where it spins freely, right? But at least when I, when I push it forward, it tends to stay there. And I don't know if that's because of the, just the, the weight of the steel 
compared to the polycarbonate because when you do this one and get it up to that point, it automatically wants to swing away from the middle. It does not want to stay where it's supposed to be. Now that's kind of neat in itself because um, it sort of sets you up. If you move it off to the side there, then you can you can sort of... I'm gripping it kind of funny. See that? <laughs> you know, but... Um, I'm sure you can find other ways to do that. So that's a little bit of a different different a difference between the two. The other main difference is the fact that these eyeballs can be switched out and they actually gave me two appears to be like glass clear glass balls and two white plastic balls of some sort. Uh, but the, these are stainless steel that are in there now. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll show you how this one comes apart. Well, you know what, before we do that, just in case, just to get it out of the way, because some people here want to get the uh, information out of the way first, we'll take it apart in a little bit. Let's go ahead and do comparisons and weights. So, here we have the Mackie CP3. This one is very close. This is thinner. Well, maybe not. Yeah, a little bit. Another one I thought a lot of us might have now is uh, a top B from Metal Toys DZ. So in comparison, this is going to be a bit chunkier. And the last thing I had that was similar in size would be the, uh, is this the Battle Shield? Uh, Wanwu. It's a shield of some sort. But uh, this is about the same size as this. This is thinner. So some balls are sticking out there. It's kind of just rocking back and forth on the eyes. I never noticed that they actually stick up above this surface a little bit. So where were we? We are just sort of comparing these two. Uh, let's compare this one. Okay. Um, the other thing was, I guess we could compare, I have a few other things from Gal that are in the same polycarbonate, and this would be likely Likely this came out of the mold this way too. They could get that finish out of a mold, but it's a little bit more of a of a less transparent finish. So you can see the difference between the two there. This one actually has a uh, a almost blasted finish on the inside. I just noticed and shiny on the outside. So that's for friction. That's interesting. And these. These are just sort of soft inside and out. Uh, and the other, the other ones I have that happen to be, I'm, I'm stuck with red, but this is the uh, Mini SPA. Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up. If I'm wrong, I'll, I'll put it up on the top of the screen there, but this is the polycarbonate version of the stainless steel one that I have. And uh, I quite like this one and the stainless steel one, but they're, Again, that's a red with a sort of a soft finish to it. And lastly, just a peek at this because I'm going to be doing it in my next review, is the Rich version 1. That is shiny. Like that. So, next step is taking them apart. So we've already taken this one apart. That's pretty much all there is to it, but I'll leave it open here so we can compare the two. So this one, you see the magnets are laid out exactly the same. Um, I haven't tried taking the uh, bearing out of this one. I don't know if it's glued in or not. I don't think there's any reason for them to do that, but it would probably come out. I don't really want to bother with it. It doesn't serve us any purpose to take it out. 
um, but I'm sure you could if you had to. So um, here's the interesting thing about this one. The eyes come out, and to do that, you can see through the back here, there's a little hole. And I just grabbed a, what is this? This is a T5, and uh, that was good enough. Get it in there, and just gently push up on either one, either side, and maybe if it's too tight, push a little bit up on that side, then on this side a little, then that side, work your way back and forth until it comes apart. But I've taken mine apart a few times now. So on the inside, get me a close up here. Focus, focus. Yes, yeah, so you can see all the ugly mold marks are, are hidden on the inside. But there's your two balls and they actually spin freely. And um, I think you can sort of feel that when they're, when they're you know, through this surface. So let's try putting some different balls in. Let's put the glass ones in. I think, yeah, that, that definitely feels like glass to me. All you gotta do is push it back together. It's just a press fit. And, uh, yeah, you know, it really, really feels that that could be, a, uh, that could be a trick on my mind, but it does feel like they're moving. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, either way, it sure does, I'd say they're moving. You know what we'll do when I'm done, we'll put a uh, stainless steel ball back in and uh, we'll put a little marker on there with a, a mark on it with a Sharpie just to make sure, but I'd say those are spinning freely, which is, it feels like they are, and that's a nice feature, I think. So let's go ahead and put in the white unknown plastic variety balls. They're a little bit, they're a little bit off color. Like, I don't know if they're typically white balls or nylon, but these have sort of a shiny surface. trying to get one to hit the other. I'm pretty sure they're plastic. They don't feel, you know, they don't feel cold as if they were uh, glass or ceramic. Where am I? Here we are. Well, the white sure stands out. I'd put marker on the white ones, except I don't know if it'll stain or not, because I don't know what kind of material that is. Yeah, it sure feels, it sure feels like those are moving to me. And I like that. And this was uh, this was only about twenty bucks, under twenty dollars, um, which isn't bad for all you get. And this ridiculously, I mean, it's early days. This was early days, um, so maybe that's why. But this was like a hundred forty. I'd never pay that for it now. And it's surprisingly, it's like they almost looked at this. I'm sure this came out first. I'm almost certain. I'm not sure. I won't say 100%, but um, I'll bet that heavily influenced the size and shape because they are almost the same. Even the radius. So, I don't know where I left off. Here's what we'll do. We will, uh, next thing we will do now is put the silver balls back in and I will grab a Sharpie. Okay, so we're just going to Pop this puppy apart, push those out again, and put these back in. Make sure it's down all the way. I'd say they both feel like they're moving to me, so let's, uh, let's put some eyeballs on this owl. My head's in the shot. Hope not. All right. Uh, where's Cap? There's Cap. Okay. The owl now has eyes. Let's see if they move. Look at that. Did not move. Did not move. That's interesting. 
That was all in my head. Those are so smooth. That is such an interesting thing. Well, I have this pressed down the whole way. And I think I've rubbed off my marks now. Let's just let's just double check that. Put a big dot on there. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say the balls do not move. So that's interesting. And I'm not going to put my Sharpie marker on, uh, well, I could do the glass balls, but I'm not going to, yeah, fuck it, I'll do the glass balls. Let's see. Okay. Well, I will not do the white balls. Because I really thought they were moving. Maybe I didn't have, maybe I didn't have this pressed down the whole way. Uh, and, and in that case, they were moving. But I'd say... Eh, if I had to make a bet, well, now if I get a good knowing that they didn't spin a second ago, I don't think that one is spinning, but something tells me this one is. Huh. Uh, let's put the eyeballs on there and find out. Yeah, that one's not moving when I touch it. That one. Okay, well, we'll just see here. <laughs> can actually see light coming in from behind. So again, once again, I was fooled. Okay, so the balls, the balls do not move, but they sure feel like they do. So that is it. Uh, you know what we did not do is um, shoot. You know, it's a little late in the game, but I think we need to do it anyhow, and that's weights and measurements. I gave you comparisons. Weights and measurements, most people really don't give a shit about, so let's just do it. Okay, there's magnets in it, but I think if I stand it up that way, it won't affect things too much. 63 grams, let's see if it changes when I do this. Whoops, it won't, oh yeah, not, there we go. Yeah. Just under 63 grams. This one, 19. So 17, 18, much less. Much, much less. Okay, last thing to do will be measurements. So the original owl is at 44 millimeters by 23 millimeters by 11 millimeters and the balls make it stick up a little bit further to 12 millimeters. And the latest PC version of the owl is 25 millimeters wide. Whoop. 46 tall and about 13 14 thick and this one this one the balls are just below the surface so they do not stick up further and i think that's about all i have to say um thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thanks for watching bye